All right, today uh, we're going to make, I often tell people I could live on Mexican food and pizza. Well, those two foods, if I could just have, to, if I could only have two foods, if I could have those, I could probably make it. So one of my favorite things to make is enchiladas, and um, the nice thing is about those is they freeze pretty well. Um, they're real good when you get them out of the freezer. Not as, you know, the, the, the uh, shell kind of gets a little mushier than when you fresh cook them, but they're still edible, don't get me wrong. So they store well, let's just put it that way. But today what you're going to need is you're going to need a uh, pan to cook them in. You can see what I'm using there. Uh, some kind of a Mexican cheese, cheddar cheese, uh, something like that. Something to, to put in them, either ground beef, that's what's in that bag back there, or chicken, or vegetables, um, be creative, rice, beans, you can put all kinds of things in them. But anyways, we're going to make some chicken ones and some uh, seasoned beef ones. And then some enchilada sauce. I just buy the enchilada sauce. Um, name brand, but um, it works pretty well for me, in a pan to uh, heat the tortillas up. So let me get uh, let me get some things resituated so I can get a better view, give you all a better view of me rolling these tortillas, and I'll show you how I do that. All right, in the frying pan, um, I've got it on about medium heat. I put a, a corn tortilla in there. I like to warm them up before I roll them. I've got something to roll them on. I'm using a cutting board, and I've got the pan to put them in. The only thing about that is spray it real good because it gets chewy and gooey, so... Make sure this pan right here you spray real good. This one here you don't have to do anything with. But uh, you get a shell, get it to get pliable. Go ahead and throw another one in there so you can be productive. The chicken ones are the hardest, but the biggest thing is just don't try to get as much too much meat in them. And just roll them lightly, easy, because you don't want to tear that shell. And then you stick them right there. And we're going to line them up. Line them up. Sammy Hagar. So you just want to get a little bit of heat into them. Got some seasoned beef. We're going to do these. Beef ones are easy. I mean, they're you know the chicken. The other part of the chicken is to cut your chicken up fine. You know, pull it apart, shred it fine. So just be gentle, sticking them in there. Put a little meat in there, pick the edge up. Like I say, just rub, don't roll them tight, because that is what makes them come apart. You can see they're even flaky, but that's all we want to do. There you go. Let me get the rest of these rolled up and uh, readjust the camera so I can give you a better view. I'll show you how we finish them up. We'll put them in the oven, pull them out, and boy, are they going to be good. All right, there you go. You see how I got them rolled and I laid them in this way and this way. And actually, I've even seen uh, when mom and dad making them a long time ago, if they had a couple extra, they'd stack them on top. I'd rather have them all flat. That way, they all get the same amount of sauce and cheese. But uh, what we're going to add now is we're going to add the enchilada sauce to it. Just run this over there. Boy, that's good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I know that's going to be good. Now, enchilada sauce isn't notoriously hot, so I'm going to take a hit with some hot sauce, too. Up in here. Like that. Look at there. I look like one of those TV chefs. Don't not doing it like that. And then, of course, cheese. And I'm using um, authentic Mexican Sargento product. I really like their cheese. Um, for you know, not going to somewhere and getting it uh, like a dairy or something. Stuff you can just buy at the store. So Gentos pretty good. So now we're going to put a generous um, helping of uh, cheese on top of this. Probably the whole bag. I think that's why they sell it that way. I mean, right? You bought a bag, you must have to use a bag. So we're going to put the whole bag on here. If I knew how to make cheese, I'd save myself some money. It's going to be worth it in the end, though, folks. You wait to see this. All right, that's how you do it. Let me get it in the oven, get it baked up, and then uh, when I pull it out, I'll show you what I got. All right, I cooked that at uh, 350 for uh, just short of an hour, 55 minutes, something like that. So 45 minutes to an hour. Let's peel this off and see what we get. Be careful, it's going to be steamy. I also wanted to show you, because I didn't tell you last time, 
Put tin foil, cover it in tin foil when you cook it. Ooh wee! Will you look at that? Well, there you go, folks. Not to uh, not to run you off or anything, but man, that looks good. It's time for me to eat. And you know, and I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna dig them out right here. It's not pretty. It's like getting that first piece of pie out of there. So. Um, there you go. Hope you try them. Good luck. You remember, uh, you don't have to be a king to eat like one. I prove it, and I sure appreciate you watching Scotty D TV. Thank you so much. Have a good night.